Hey YouTube, what's going on? So, still wearing the same clothes as the last few videos. That's because I'm trying to just, like I said, pump these videos out real quick. Show you what I picked up. Get stuff put away. Um, if you watched my room tour video, I will be leaving this room relatively soon. Um, my son's moving upstairs, so he'll have the whole entire second floor to himself. And I'm going into his old bedroom, which is going to be my common room slash my wife's office um, with her exercise bike and all kind of stuff. But once I get everything down there, I'll kind of maybe do another quick video down there. Um, most of my boxes are going to be either on a bed or not even existent. I have the three drawer filing cabinet you saw in the room tour video. And I also have another four drawer legal size filing cabinet already in his room. Ready to be loaded with comics. But I gotta paint the room first. <laughs> so I gotta take things out of this room to store in my other room, get the beds moved, paint the room, all before school starts. Good luck with that. <laughs> but these are some books. Me and my son went to um, a store like next town over. We've been there before. They sell a lot of different things, like some antiques, they sell some collectibles. Um, toys, video games. They had a small box of comics before. Some Pokemon cards that he was looking at. So we had a day to ourselves. So my wife wasn't feeling good. Me and son are going to go do something. Um, we stopped at the store. Then we went off and did some mini golf and some batting cages and stuff. So we had a nice little day. This time we went in there. Didn't have any Pokemon cards that he was looking for. But he, did, he found a little Lego minifigure that he wanted. And they had actually about five or six short boxes didn't have my list flip through saw some stuff that i might go back for when i had my list um but i wasn't sure so i was like eh, we'll wait and see um but i did pick up a little stack buck a piece um nothing crazy um so yes i picked up this challenges of the unknown number three this is um from 97 putting that little run together i think there's 18 issues in, in this series um i think i'm about halfway done so this, this is still polybagged. I figured, why not? This is uh, Icon. Still in this polybag. For a dollar, why not? At Denny Crisis number seven. I just love this cover. Um, I had... I know I had an issue with this, but it was like waterlogged and damaged, and this is a really nice shape. It turns out I already had a second copy, so now I have three copies of this. So, um, if... Possibly in your future favorite contest. Wink, wink. Um, this probably be one of the prizes. Really nice copy of Fantastic Four 371. It's nice all white embossed cover. You can kind of see that. Pretty good for dollar. Why not? Everybody's got to have this in their collection. I think everybody on YouTube does. Um, I can't X-Men 317. First appearance on Blink. Pretty good. Everybody else has it. Why not? Right? I had the first three trades of the Suicide Squad um, series from the 80s. Um, I can't remember what series, it, what number it ends at, but I figured if I can find the rest of them um, in single issues, I will. This is number 38. Apparently this is the origin of the Bronze Tiger, number 38. And I like this cover. This is number 56. Yeah, love that. Wasn't sure in this one or not. This is Bane Conquest number nine. Turns out I already had it. So, there's that. Found Avengers book, 362. No really significance other than that it is a Steve Epting cover, which I'm trying to collect all his Avenger covers. So that's pretty sweet. And that was nine. So I, could, I have a $10 bill. I want to buy 10 bucks. Flip through really quick. Um, I just grabbed this, obviously, because the 25th anniversary cover is Cloak and Dagger number 9. Not really collecting these, but for a dollar, I'll pick it up. I so said, after we went and played mini golf and did the batting cages, drove back home. Um, there's another little thrift store, sell antiques, different little things. Um, I always want to stop in a little. I know I, there's some comics there in the past, so I said, why not? Um, it was like three different floors. 
walked around the first floor, found a little stack of books, and they were $2 a piece. So I, figured, I found a couple that were I was interested in, but I left them there. I figured, I'll walk around and see. So up on the second floor, I found a, a, a little rack that had some books on it, a little shelf thing. Um, they had a Hawkman 20 for 10 bucks. That's not too bad. It's in decent shape. There was another book called Straight Arrow. And I'm not really into Western stuff, Indian stuff, but it was from like 1951. It really caught my eye. That was like 10 bucks. It's like, okay. So then I went back downstairs, and on this table, they had just books in a, just a mash of books. Um, a lot of Bronze Age stuff, but the stickers were on the books. Price tags. I was like, oh, I don't, I might be able to peel them off, but I don't know how long they've been on there. And they weren't really cheap. They're like anywhere from $2 to like $8. I didn't have my list again, but there were some books in there I probably will need. But uh, the one in the stack that I first saw originally, there was two books. I can't remember what the other one was, but this was um, Charlton Comics, which I don't have much of. And this looked interesting. This is um, issue what? Issue three? Let's look it up. Issue three, I believe. Issue three. Issue three from July 1967 of The Peacemaker. Now, I don't really care about the old Suicide Squad tie of The Peacemaker. So, but... It's an older book, and it needed a home. So for two bucks, why not? The other book was like a like a jungle book or something, which I don't typically buy. But it was like from the 60s for two bucks, and it was in decent shape. And most books need homes. <laughs> so I'll gladly give it a loving home. I said, it's just on the road, probably not even less than two miles. So I'll probably stop there again. But I said, quick video, stuff I picked up. Not sure where I'm going to post this. Probably after the video I just did and then maybe way after the free comic book day video either way at some point it'll come out um, but so you'll know why I'm wearing the same outfit but that's all thanks for watching and we'll see you next one thanks bye